What's up guys, it's Daniel the Vape Man here today. We are going to be doing Silverback Jenna. Here is the bottle. Lovely design right here. I love this sign. Or this design. It is a 7030 VGBG. 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 The VGBGs. It's a 7030 VGPG blend. And then, bam. Look at this compliance label. And to show you how big it is, look at that. That's a Luxotic by Wismac. Look how big that is. Here's a 30 miller. 30, I can't speak. A 30 millimeter. Look how big that warning is. So we go from one company, you know, not doing what they should. This is amazing. I mean, it is redundancy. And I feel like it's a jab. You know what I mean? But I love it because, A, what are you going to do? I mean, if you drink this or your kids get a hold of this, bam. I mean, how much more? You, this is a perfect label. Nothing nothing child-friendly. So let's give it a nice shake and a drip. Alrighty. Got it on the Luxotic with the .3 something and got the Redemption with some NIDAR coils. So initially when you first take the exhale, you get a little bit of a like colada effect. Then uh, as you exhale, you start to get some strawberries in there. Then after the strawberries, you get this like watermelon spearmint kind of deal. It's a very unique juice because you get an authentic not a candied, but an authentic strawberry followed by a candied watermelon with some mint. So it starts off like culotta, chilling effect, then fresh, authentic strawberries, and then a candied watermelon followed by mint gumish. Very good flavor. I've been vaping this two days straight, and it's very tasty. Easy to all-day vape. You can't see how much I vape, but I probably vaped, you know, 30, 40 milliliters of this. Uh, and it is tasty as can be. My only con with this is when I first get it, usually with juices, I do like this, you know, and then I drip. I noticed there was no... No menthol, no chilling effect when I first did it. I was like, I thought this had menthol in it. Now, if you do just a little jammy like this, you don't taste any menthol, at least this bottle or for me. You have to really shake it well, then drip it. And it feels like the, the more you shake, the more culotta effect it does have. And it's very tasty, very tasty. So let's get down to business. Mimictation, spot on. We're looking at 90-95%. I would have liked a little bit more prevalence in the strawberry and a little bit more uh, culotta or mint. There's times where you hit it and it's very minty and then there's times where you hit it and it's not that minty. And I, uh, It's very weird. When I did have it the first time uh, about a month ago and I tried it and I fell in love with it, it was very minty. This one's not too much. Uh, it's kind of weird. If you shake it a lot, it, it, it increases the menthol. Overall rating, very high. This is going to be a very high juice. I can't give it to 9.5 because that's the greatest of all time. I mean, I would probably give it a 9.4 or a 9.5B. It is not the greatest juice I've ever had. That is all Melon Twist, you know, Melon Twist chilled, Melon Twist regular, honeydew chew. That's always going to be my number one until someone knocks it off. This is definitely, you know, my tide for twos, you know, talking about with the banana butts, we're talking about the free stones, we're talking about the ones, you know, we're talking about killer custard, strawberry, cereal, jinx, we're talking about all those tied for number two. This is Definitely a 9.4, 9.5B. It is a really good juice. I absolutely love it. 
Love the compliance. Love everything about it. And I've been vaping it nonstop. Anyways. We're about to do a live stream. Thank you very much for watching. I'm watching some, uh, some fights in the background. So I hope you can join. Uh, if not, thank you for viewing. I do appreciate it. Y'all have a good night.